I bet you didn't know that Google Scholar can export into RefWorks. The great thing about Google Scholar is it can do a lot of the same things that a database does, but you have to know how to kind of get it set up that way. Um, again, like Frog Scholar, it's not the best or the only resource out there. Um, sometimes you'll do a search and you won't find half the stuff you would find in a database. So don't make it your only stopping point, but definitely um, look and see uh, what it has available for you. You'll get a lot more information on Google Scholar when you actually start taking uh, systematic review classes, but I wanted to show you how to go ahead and get it set up so that you can export into RefWorks from here. Um, so what you're going to want to do if you've never set it up, you'll want to go make sure you're signed in first so you always have it set up this way and then um, go into settings and then right here under search results it should be there as soon as you get there um, on this page and then click show links to export into RefWorks. Of course you saw an EndNote option so if you have EndNote make sure you click that instead and then you can click save and there is your feature to import into RefWorks. Um, as simple as clicking on that link, it will send it to your RefWorks account and you now have it in there. Please let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much.